Hey there again, y'all, and uh, I don't know, today I kind of wanted to um, go on a little rant. I like to go on, I like to go on rants. Uh, if you get tired of my rant right now, I have the Simpsons playing in the background, if you can see, I don't know, see that? Yeah, it's a, actually it's a marathon from the uh, first uh, episode all the way to the last episode, so that's like, what, 600 some odd uh, episodes? But, <laughs> I know, I've been trying to watch it, kind of, on and off. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be sitting down there for, what, two weeks, <laughs> trying to get every episode. But, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going on a rant about the cliche, um, oh, if uh, the candidate I don't want, you know, wins the election, I'm going to move to Canada. You hear that all the time, right? Yeah, I mean, I hear that kind of from both sides. It's mainly the left that says it, but you also get a lot of people on the right who say that. And here's my thing. This is my rant, honestly. Um, first of all, you know, when I hear people say, oh, you know, if this person wins the election, so let's say in this case it's uh, Donald Trump, you know, uh, if Donald Trump wins the election, I'm moving to Canada. First of all, uh, no, you're not, most likely. I mean... Some of you might, I don't know, but most likely you're not going to move out of the country. And second of all, why Canada of all places? Why not like Britain or Ireland or Australia or uh, New Zealand? Okay, I get it. You know, uh, Canada is relatively close. You know, it's a first world country and uh, they speak English there. But, you know, you know, uh, there are other countries out there that are uh, first world and uh, that speak English, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Britain, Ireland, Australia, and uh, New Zealand, just saying, you know. You know, third of all, um, if you're gonna go all the way, you know, out of your way to move out of the country, why not go up the extra mile or extra, you know, 5,000 miles and, you know, experience a completely different country with completely different culture, different, you know, way of life. I know, Basically, Canada is a different country. It's a different culture, but let's keep it real. Canada is very similar to the U.S. in more ways than one. It's, in fact, almost identical if you think about it. I mean, yeah, the politics are slightly different, only slightly, but 99% the same in a way, in many ways, basically. You know, if you want to really grasp a different culture... I don't know. I wouldn't say Britain and Ireland are that different either, but still, you know, get a taste of the Irish culture, maybe like, yeah, I don't know. Something about Ireland when I visited, it was just different. It was the same in a lot of ways, but it was also very different. Just the culture, like the, I don't know, just something about it was very, you know, different from the U.S. The people there were different, you know, in good ways, more good, more good than bad. You know, I've never been to like. Australia or New Zealand, I'd like to go there one day. I think the culture there would be a lot different. I think it'd be a better, you know, worldly experience to move <laughs> to, you know, Australia or New Zealand for, you know, the next four to eight years. I don't know, depending on how long, but, uh, fucking <laughs> Bush. Uh, Donald Trump is in office. Like I said, I hope it's only four years. Maybe it's eight years. Who knows? But yeah, Australia for the next four to eight years would be cool, you know? Just pick up that kind of Aussie uh, lifestyle or what have you. But yeah, okay, there goes my rant. Uh, I'm kind of sick and tired of people threatening to move to Canada. It's just gotten so, like, cliche now. I'm, basically, I, you know, I've kind of, as a joke, I've threatened to move to Britain, you know, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. No, it's funny, I took an online quiz, like, maybe a few years ago, and I kind of wanted to see what kind of country would fit my lifestyle and like my interests the most and I actually got New Zealand of all places. So, I mean, if I was gonna move out of country, I'd probably move to New Zealand. I know that sounds random, but you know, if you actually check out New Zealand, it sounds pretty cool. You know, they speak English there. It's a first world country. You know, the scenery there is amazing. Like the beaches there, you know, the mountains there, man. So. Anyway, yeah, there goes my rant on the whole, you know, you know, if this person wins the election, I'm moving to Canada, you know, cliche. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, that concludes <laughs> my rant. So yeah, 
Uh, if you had any questions about this uh, particular uh, topic, uh, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye.